this is really what happens here. Um, I talked to Kirerembe, he's the one who uh, invited me here through Pastor Moses. Um, and I pray that for the few moments that we will be able to share the word of God, we will be able to fund each other towards godliness. One as your son. The topic of my sharing is um, called to follow. A call, called to follow. Our reading comes from the book of Matthew. Our reading comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 14. Not Matthew, sorry. Luke chapter 14, verse 25 to 34. Luke chapter 14, verse 25 to 34. If you get there, say amen. Luke, uh, Luke 14, 25 to 34. I will read it. Now a great crowd accompanied him, and he turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father, mother, and wife, and children, and brothers, and sisters, yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Verse 27, whoever does not bear his own cross, and come after me cannot be my disciple. Verse 28. For which of you, desiring to build a tower, does not take, does not sit down and count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it? Verse 29. Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it begin to mock him, saying, that this man began to build and was not able to finish. Verse 31. Or what king going to out to encounter another king in war will not sit down first and deliberate whether he is able with 10,000 to meet he who comes against him with 20,000. Verse 32. And if not, while the other is yet a great way off, he sends a delegation to ask of terms of peace. So therefore, any one of you who does not renounce all that he has cannot be my disciple. Verse 34. Salt is good, but if salt loses its taste, how does it, how shall its saltiness be restored? If it is of no use either for the soil or for the manure pile, it is thrown away. He who has ears, let him hear. And that's the word of God. Let's pray. Hi, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for the opportunity to sit down under your word. Father, we thank you for your word. It's sharp. It's sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates and cuts the motive and judges the intentions of men. I want to thank you, O Lord, for this word. It is sweet, sweeter than honey from its comb. This word brings joy to our hearts. And it is perfect, making wise the simple. Lord, by this word, are we warned from great transgression? Lord, how I ask that as we sit down to listen to you, O oh Lord, through me, what I have not, may you give me through this word. What I am not, may you make me through this word. Lord, I desperately desperately lean on your Holy Spirit to enable me to rightly divide this word so that your people will be blessed, will be changed, will be transformed, rebuked, 
corrected, admonished by this word. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we believe. Amen. So I said the topic of our sharing is a call to follow. This is how my sermon outline looks like. Number one, I will try to explain to us what this call is. Then number two, I will explain the terms and conditions for this call. Then number three, I will give a challenge to each and every one of us. I repeat my outline. I will try, number one, to define this call. Number two, I will give terms and conditions for this call. And number three, our conclusion will be a challenge for all of us. So, we start with uh, outline number one, outline objective number one. What is this call? Verse 25 will say that now a great crowd accompanied him and he turns and says to them, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father, his mother, his wife, his killer, his brother, his sister, yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Brothers and sisters, may I submit to us that the call that Jesus is laying for these people is a call to follow him. And the call is very personal. That is why Jesus would turn and look at a great crowd and not be moved by the crowd. May I submit to us that as young people, we have a tendency of following masses. This is when the This is what clicks. But Jesus is not deceived by the masses. He is not deceived by the crowd. He knows that there are people who have no intention of Jesus that can be found in masses. Jesus is so convinced that there are so many people who will follow masses and come to such occasions, but they have no relationship with Jesus Christ whatsoever. And so Jesus turns to the big crowd and he tells them, if you do not hate your father, your mother, your sister, your brother, everyone, you cannot be my disciple. You see, this is the same crowd that is following Jesus because just the other day, he had fed 5,000. He fed 5,000 with bread and fish. And may I submit to us that bread and fish was the staple food for the people in Galilee. And when they're following Jesus, they are convinced that he will do something else and maybe this time he will meet another need. And many other times as young people, we followed Jesus because Jesus is only meeting our needs. But we do not have a relationship with him. We do not have a genuine relationship with him. We've not, we've not had an encounter that fuels our following of Jesus Christ. Jesus is not deceived by the crowds that are following him. Jesus is not deceived by the big masses. Jesus is not deceived na sisi tumeokoka. Swali ni je wewe umeokoka. He says, he turns to the great crowd and he tells them this. And the things that Jesus is telling these people are no easy things. He's telling them to hate their family. And you may be wondering, why is Jesus, a Jesus who's all about love, saying that we should love even our neighbors as we love ourselves, talking about hating your father and your mother and your sister and even your own life. May submit to us that the kind of hate that Jesus is talking about here is in comparison to him. That you will compare the love you have for your parents and the love that you have for Jesus Christ and you will always choose Jesus Christ. That you will compare the love you have for your brother and your sister and your wife, for example, for me, who's married. I will look at the kind of love that I have for my wife and my children, and compared to what I feel for Jesus Christ, it will be, you, you can't compare. I have my full allegiance on this man called Jesus Christ. I feel like some of us are in church for all the wrong reasons. We came to church because someone told us that ukikuja kwa Yesu, Yesu atatatua shidazako zote. 
Ukikuja kuna watu wa kanisa kwa sababu wanataka hata kuolewa kanisani. Kuna wengine wa kanisani kwa sababu wanataka wakikufa wapate kanisa ya kuwazika. We have followed Jesus Christ for all the wrong reasons. All the wrong reasons. Someone said that when you follow him, he will sort your issues. Wewe uko na madeni, jana nilikuwa gikomba. Pastor fulani akasema kama uko na madeni Mfuate huyu Yesu atalipa deni zako. Mwanzi, huyu Yesu huyu. Wakristo wangapi wako hapa na wako na madeni? Hata yatala. Ama fuliza. Yesu alipi deni? Deni yenye alitumwa kulipa ilikuwa ya msalaba. Deni ya dhambi ndio Yesu alitumwa kulipa. Hizi hapa duniani we lipa. Pisi yeye anakuaga na msemo inakuaga their motto is jitegeme. <laughs> the great crowd is following Jesus and Jesus is not deceived by the great crowd because he knows that there are people who are following him for the wrong reasons. And I have come to tell you guys I know that you are here and you may be following Jesus for the wrong reasons. And I want us to get our priority correct. So that we will not be following him for the wrong reasons. The reason why people are stepping out of salvation, it is because what they followed Jesus to accomplish for them, he has not. Why? Because they were deceived in following Jesus Christ. But until you get the true perspective of what Jesus does for us, and the reason why we need to follow him, then your Christianity is a miss. Some of us do not even know what we were saved from. Asma tu mimi niliokoka, niliokolewa wapi? Kwa nini? Uliokolewa wapi? Ulikuwa unachomeka uka mtu akazima moto. What were you saved from? Jesus knows that these numbers are deceiving. He notices the deception in the numbers and does not let that go. At times we've allowed truth be determined by numbers. Najua vile tunasemanga majority wins. Majority does not always win. Majority is not always correct. You know the statement that majority is always right? It is not. It is very easy for us even to judge our success by numbers. You may actually judge your success or even there are some of us that are doing things because so many people are doing them. Jesus is not deceived by such people. Jesus is not here to recruit followers. Jesus is not recruiting crowds. Jesus is here to recruit disciples. People that will follow him desperately. You remember like Peter would say, when Jesus is telling him that he's about to go, and, and Peter would tell him, Jesus, we've left everything. What is there for us who have left everything? This crowd is just enjoying to be with Jesus. But very people, very few people among that crowd had an, had an, had, had an encounter with Jesus Christ. I submit to us that there are so many people who rub shoulders with Jesus Christ every day but have very little encounter with him. They do not know him. They they do not even they don't even they have not even experienced him. You are here doing the businesses of the Lord. You are here leading praise and worship. You are the best dancer. You are always ushering. You know they, when there's a kesha you you are here but you have nothing no interaction with him. He's you do not even know him there is a difference up between knowing about me and knowing me for example you guys know about me because i have told you my name is but if you do want to know me beyond just my name maybe you can talk to godi and he can tell you that guy i know because i have a relationship with him if you want to know me deeper and better sit with my wife she will explain to you that that man gets angry when he is hungry that man is he snores at night you know 
she has an encounter with me. She's she spent time with me for the last six years that we've been married. She knows me. The, the difference between knowing about someone and knowing someone is that when you know someone, you know them deeply. When you just know about them, you know what. Like, kile kitu yiko hapa, junyinyo wote si mnajua jinangu? Yu mini mawambia. Lakini wala wenye wananijua, they know things that you do not know. May I tell you that there are people who are cruising this Christian walk with only a very little knowledge about Jesus Christ, but they've never encountered him. And that is why we have a population of Kenyans that is said to be 82% Christian, and yet, when there are riots, people will loot. In 207, people kill each other in a, in a country that is 82% Christian. People kill each other. In a country that is 82% Christian, we have very high rates of corruption. That means something. Either our Christianity has not affected what we are, or we just know about God, but have very little, little interactions with him. Some other time I was talking to some other young people, and they were saying, they have nothing wrong, they, they don't have anything wrong to say against corruption. How is you corrupt kwa sababu wajapata opportunity ya kuiba hii pesa ya serikali? Lakini maali opportunity itafunguka hivi. Na ilikuwa, ili, mini ilikuwa, ilikuwa naongea na vijana wa kanisa. Na wana niambia pasi wacha mkombi hili ita imenye tu hii kitu itajipa. Mimi na yo na yo. Kwa sababu most of us, Christianity has not affected what we are. Christianity has not affected what we are. We are, we are the highest consumers, highest consumers of movies. Most of these movies that you are watching have nude scenes. They have profanity, the obscene, obscene talk, things that the Bible is outright saying, eat, watch it. Lakini sisi ndio ma consumer. Kwani nani wanakuaga na Netflix? Kwani Netflix ni ya nani? Nani anataka nimpatie login password zangu za Netflix? Bure, mimi ulipa. Yangu ni premium. Sini sisi watch. Sini sisi consume hizi stuff. Na sini sisi bado wa Kristo. Sini sisi tutakuwa hapa uniongoze. Kwa huruma zako. Baba naomba. I give myself away. Really, really, have you given anything away? What have you given away? Friends, the conditions that follow are not said to apostles. They are said to every follower of Jesus Christ. And what are the conditions, number one? The conditions of this call, number one, and this is where I like us, after these conditions you will choose for yourself whether you are a believer or not. This condition, number one, is complete commitment and total devotion to Jesus Christ. Verse 26 would say this. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brother, yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. The word hate here is semantic. It, it is a semantic expression to mean loving less. Matthew, in the, the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 35, helps us to understand what Jesus is actually saying. Jesus does not prohibit love for those that are close to us, but he calls us to a greater love towards him. He's calling us to love him above everything else. The first commandment is loving the Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your might, with all your strength. And so the call that Jesus is laying over his friends, the commitment that he wants to make is that they will love him above everything. When is the last time you loved Jesus above everything? 
When is the last time you loved him above your boyfriend or girlfriend? Or your crush? Or your phone? When is the last time you loved Jesus and chose to be holy? Chose to be holy when all your friends were compromising? When is the last time you loved Jesus so deeply and decided you will obey him? In a world where everything now goes and that which is right does not have to be my right. Like, fine, we will fanyangi, but I feel like a lot of us as young people have come up with so many excuses to be left alone to continue living in our own sin. So, man, gayo sasa ni mambo yako. Mimi usini judge. Nisi kujudge. Nisi kujudge na unafanya dhambi. Niki kuambia kenya umeva ni wrong, unaniambia, please, pasi usini judge. Niki kuambia ile rende nyo unakip ni wrong, pasi, usini judge. Ni kuambia manze, hivi mile na kuchikina huu boy. Laka ni madem sa zingine wacha tunuulize. Nini ni inakuwa gambana nyinyo? Yani hata wewe kwa kicho wako unajua tu kijana, akusaidi, akuna, yani wewe unajua tu unapotea. Laka ni mtu na kuambia, mabishti zako wote wame kuambia, kai, ukushua, shiko, hundio, dali, ukuba, ujui, uchali ni mpua, uchali hata change, uchali, uchali, Unulizo ameokoka unasema ajaokoka lakini anapenda god. Yo nini? Ni nani anapenda shetani hapa huyo? Nani mwenye anapenda shetani? Hakuna. Unaambiwa ukushua. Unasema oh when you umjui, you spend time na yeye utamjua. Mhm. Mhm. This is wrong. But then you will say stop judging me. Stop. I'm asking, when is the last time you loved Jesus so deeply that you chose him over this fragile, this passing, pa- passing fleets of joy and happiness here and there? When is the last time you decided you will stick to him who's the sole supply and satisfy of our life? and said no to something that would satisfy you for the moment. Praise the Lord. Philippians chapter 3 verse 7 would say, Whatever thing I counted gain, I have counted loss for the sake of Jesus Christ. This is Paul. Paul is such a big name. He's such a big name. But then he says, that everything that I had considered as gain, I now consider loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Jesus Christ. And this is the commitment that Jesus Christ is calling us to. That you will consider everything rubbish compared to knowing him. What that means, it means that you will change your life. That your relationship with Jesus Christ must affect things in your life. I like giving this story. There are two people that want to have an experience of the bus. One of them decides that at a smama kwa stage, basi kikama smamishe basi, aingie kwa basi, apige raundi siku mzima, alafu pesake mali utaishia ashuke. Mwingine akangojea basi kwa highway ikiwa full speed, akajirusha mbele ya basi. Ni nani hata wai saao encounter yake na basi? Ni mtu wa kwanza mwenye alisimama, kasimamisha basi, kapanda, pesa yake kwenye lishia, akashuka. Ama ni ule jamaa mwenye alidirusha kwa haiwe, akakutana na basi face to face. Nani hata haisa hawe encounter yake na basi? Uwe jamaa wa face to face. Uwe hawezi sahau. Hawezi sahau encounter yake na basi. And that is the life of a Christian. The day you gave your life to Jesus Christ, you will never forget because something permanent happened to your life. So that you cannot claim to be a believer, and yet there is no commitment and devotion to him. You cannot be a believer who still loves the things of this world. Praise the Lord. Terms and conditions number two. Carry your cross. Verse 27 says this. 
Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. The cross here does not symbolize your problems. Mimi nimesikia wachungaji wakiambia watu hii msalaba hapa ina symbolize shida zako uongo. The cross here does not symbolize your problems. What it symbolizes is a daily dying to self. What do I mean by a daily dying to self? It is a life of total surrender to him that every day I will wake up in the morning and Galatians 2:20 will ring in my head I am crucified with Christ I no longer live the life I live it is by faith for it is Christ who lives in me it is a daily dying to self may I submit to us that Christians we need to die every day we need to like our pastor was saying our elder was saying wokovu ya jana aita to sustain leo we need to go back to him and say lord i am prone to prone to sin prone to leave this god i love lord help me prone to fall prone to go back to those things that i hate i i i, I loved lord help me every day may submit to us that every day we need to go back to that cross and say lord help us help me help me lead me give me grace the bible would say in the bible, in the book of titus chapter 2 verse 11 that he teaches us how to say no to ungodly things but it is a daily relying on him a daily relying on him a daily daily relying on him because we have realized that we are so prone to the things of this world we cannot make them we cannot make it without him jesus is not calling us to wear a cross around our neck like some of us do that's not the call the call is not to wear a cross The cross is not to even wear shirts that are written return to sender or that's not the call the call is not even to to wear things that in our neck here written oh we are born again that's not the call the call is to die daily the call is to commit ourselves all heartedly to him knowing that Jesus Christ if you do not take this will i will give up because you see some of us are in the in the tendency of doing salvation by our own strength the reason why you keep giving your life to Jesus Christ after every preaching is because you try each and every day to walk this journey of salvation by yourself coming to your high school manze kuliko kunohubiria go hivi tuma wangapo wangependa kuokoka unainua mkono unaombewa after wiki mbili mambo inaenda msegemnege unarudi tena hapo na ulizo wangapi wangependa kuokoka unainua mkono tena unaambia Mungu sasa hii ni ya mwisho unaombewa mambo inaenda enda hivi unarudi tena KCC kikaribia ukasema kai mtata Mungu akinikipita wewe nikipita nenda kuishia kama watu 150 But you see the, the 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 struggle for all of us is we keep doing this on our own. We have not learned the point of relying. Let me explain to us what salvation what believing is. When Jesus says you have to believe in me. Believing means two things. It means that you have to have faith with understanding of who Jesus Christ is that he lived, died and rose again. And then the other thing number two, is that you have to rely on him. And that is what the Bible would say in the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 12 it says that he works in us to will and to act according to his good pleasure. It is Jesus Christ who works in us. Our the journey of faith, we do not defeat the devil because we are strong. He says that in our weaknesses then he is strong. So that Jesus Christ knows that Shadrach is tempted every morning that Shadrach is tempted every other day that Shadrach is tempted but what separates Shadrach from the non-believer is my daily reliance on Jesus Christ that every morning i will wake up and i will tell him lord prone to wonder lord i feel it prone to leave this god that i love help me jesus christ walk this journey of faith with me may you strengthen me down this journey that is what separates you who's a believer from anyone else there who's an unbeliever the daily reliance of jesus christ 
We are not righteous on our own. It is Jesus Christ who makes us righteous. The Bible will say that we are imputed righteousness. We are called the righteousness of God, not because we did things that are righteous. No, we were wicked. We were sinners. We actually, the, 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 the punishment that was intended for Jesus, that Jesus Christ received was intended for us. But Jesus took that and he gave us his righteousness. He became our sin that we made no righteousness. And so then, because the righteousness that I have is not mine, I have to daily depend on him and ask, I do not know this Lord, but help me to walk this journey. For only you can help me, only you can sustain me through this journey. I have to carry my own cross. There's a guy who says these words that I love. He says, when God bids a man to come, he bids him to come and die. The image of man carrying a cross is a condemned man on his way to his place of, the, of execution. The point is, true disciples must be willing to die that he will live through us. We have to be willing to die. We have to be willing to let go of our rights. We have to be willing to let go of our rights and small ambitions. So that Jesus Christ will live through us. A.W. Tozer says, The man on the cross is only facing one direction. And it is never back. So that then the reason why we fall is because we are always facing back. It's because we are always trying to confirm. And this reminds me of Lot's wife. You see, the reason why Lot's wife would turn to be a stone is because she remembered the things of Sodom and Gomorrah. She was like men, but when... And I feel like that is what happens for some of us. We actually envy the people of the world. We look at how the people of the world are having fun. Kwanza leo ni Friday. Unajua leo tu ni sherehe na miondoko. Na wo uko hapa hivi. Na unajua kitoka hapa, unaenda home. Na hii kitu, sa zingine, it does not sit well with us. And some of us are actually envious because unakaimu, unasimu, kaa. But what the Lord has done for us is such a serious thing. There's another day. I am walking from, I, so I, I, I try and work out some at some time. So I'm walking from the gym. Na mi natembea tu ni mesmile tu kivyangu ni metoka kubondo oko na machuma. Lakini na smile ni kona furaha ya mungu ndani yangu. Natembea Jamaflani alikuwa mlevi, about 57 years. He actually told me he's 7 years. So he came to me and he told me, young man, akanimbe kinyaje kijana, hey, umefurai, nini ni mbae? Misi kujua hata ni naudumia mtu. Mika mwambia tu, ah, mimi, na kwa gaivi, mimi ni mefurai? Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Akanimbe manzu unajua, ningetaka kukua kama wewe. That is a 57 year old. Unajua 57 year old ni mtu mzae kuliko babangu. Babangu wamefutia 53 juzi. Huni mse mzai. Anzi mamisha nimi kitana mimi ngependa kuwa kawe. Nika mwambia kuwa kawe mimi ni raisi sana. Haka nuliza aji. Nika mwambia kuwa kawe mimi. Nikuwa na usiano na yesu. Haka change sura. But nika mwambia the only way. That you will realize. That you've been carrying so much. So much. Umeko umebeba na hivi. Iki tu inafanya inabondeka hivi ni kwa sababu mizigo zinyo umebeba ni nyingi. And the only thing that will give you the peace that I have, even though I am a young man, even though I don't have as much money as maybe you have, it is Jesus Christ. And may I tell us that Jesus Christ is the solution to life. You see this thing that says Jesus Christ is the answer. No matter the question. Just don't do that in your exams. But, but no matter the question, Jesus Christ is the answer. I realize it has such truth. Yes, ndiyo jawabu. Ya kila kitu. Kona tu kenda komtiani ulizo, what is mitochondria? Usiandike hapo Jesus. Jumwalimu wana hii ukweli enye mina wambia. Tiki la kitu ya tunasomanga ni ukweli. Buwa nsipiwe. Kuna vitu zingine tunasomanga tupite mtiani. 
Lakini si ukweli. Wadanganyi? It's actually true. Not everything is true. There are some things we start, for example, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel, they are taken among the Chaldeans, and they are taught sorcery. Walo ansumanga biblia waneza wambia, sorcery ni uchawi. Yani Shadrach, Meshach, na Abednego, na Daniel, walikuwa meiva uchawi. Biblia inasema, ya kwamba walipoekwa pamoja na wawa sewingine wote, walikuwa wachawi noma kuliko mbaka wale the Chaldeans themselves. But they did not apply the such craft. So that information does not change. That is why doctors who know that cigarette smoking is harmful to their health still smoke. Because information does not change. The only thing that changes is convictions. And convictions are born from scripture. An interaction with Jesus Christ and a realization that he is the ultimate truth. Carry your own cross means a daily dedication with Christ. In shame, suffering and surrender to God. May I tell us that our walk with Jesus Christ will cause us shame. Shame. Utaibika kusabubwa kufuata uyu yesu. Utachekwa. You will suffer. You will suffer because of following this Jesus Christ. Let me explain to you why you will suffer. Because there are things that people do outside here to get rich that you will not do because you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Nakumbuka kuna time flani ni kiwa kampo. Nilikuwa thadia. Karatasi ya psychology imenikalia hivi. Imenikalia. Kulikuwa na fourth year flani, I think alikuwa na rudia hiyo pepa. Alikuwa meka kando yangu. Haka unavilu kijana amengangana. Haka toa mwa Kenya kwa mfuko. Haka yekelea kwa loka yangu. Nika chukua ile mwa Kenya. Nika tetemeka. Nika sweat. Hivi jashu hivi. Jashu inatoka hivi na shindu. Chisa joto imetoka hapi. Alafu katika hiyo harakati ya kusweat. Invigilator haka alikuwa meka huko mbali. Walo ya alikuwa... Kwa kwa Nairobi University wanajua Taifa Hall vile inakuwaga. Taifa Hall ni ki hall ki bigi. So inakakaa ile mlango. So invigilator meka place pale. Akaanza kukuja tuwa kiangalia mbaka. Mimi saizo ni mesuwe TV na sikia mbaka tumbo inaguruma. Yani, cause mimi sijai bia mtu hata anything. Sijai bia mtihani. Ame, jamaa kakama kiangalia ili makaratasi. Ya kakama kiangalia. Kakama kafika hapa kwa angu. Kasimama hapo, saizo ni mesu. Yani, ni meshika ili mwakenye hivi na shindu kei. Nani ya niliembe hata ni ngangane na hivi. Sini ngechana na isu wali. Ni me ngangane hivi tu. Alafu wakarudi tena. Wakarudi ni kajambia. Wawa hini second chance mungu wana nipatia. Kwe. Ni kachuko ili mwakenye ni karudishia tu ule kijanani kama mbia niko. Ni kaendelea kungangane. Hahaha. Nikijaribu kujuliza sasa aki ninge patikana. Sija wai bia mtihani fast pro. Kutoka fast year sise uko thadia kijana. The things that because you're a believer you will struggle. You will struggle. There's, man, there are opportunities. Wache nini wapati tu siri. Kuna opportunities nyingi sana nimepata za kuomoka. Lakini... Nikiziangalia zi opportunity aziambatani na Kristo wangu. Naambia tu umsi Buddha asanti. Kama kuna time fulani nafanya gig fulani. But hasa wameamua ku so wame wame extrapolate prices wananiambia wewe hii ndio receipt utaenda kupatiana. Lakini sisi tunajua tutakupatia hii. Mwanzi una kaibu na ile pesa yenye utabaki nayo. Ukifunga hii deal. Kuzile sasa aki. Yai. Lakini unenda tuku ule msona mwambia ndugu. Ninge penda. Lakini ukristo wangu wawezi fanya vitu kama hii. And that takes me to the next point. Which is counting the cost. You have to count the cost of your salvation. And that is why this man would give an example. He would say that if you are going to fight with 10,000 and another with 2,000. 
10,000 and another with 20,000. The king will look and say, man, am I able to do this with 10 or am I, able, am I not able to? There's a counting, a cost that you need to do for you to follow this Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not interested with blind disciples who are just following him for the sake of following him. He wants us to follow him with deep convictions and deep truths. The world to mock and change true, true believers to hypocrites. That's a count that we have to pay. Prospective believers. We have to pay the count so many things. Some believers become even discouraged. Why do believers become discouraged? They become discouraged because they followed him without even paying the cost. This cost will count. It will cost you. It will cost you what you watch. It will cost you a total commitment and devotion. It will cost what you listen to. It will cost what you hold and what you touch. Just the decision to follow him will cost you so much who you will get married to. Because even that is not your decision. It's a decision that I think Jesus Christ should be a hundred percent involved. Man, I've said I've been a youth pastor, and I know how young people come and I come here and say, "Pastor, you're not a kuwana." Jama, you're not a gun. Jama, you're a good person. Now, Jama, you're a good person. Jama, you're a good person. I hear down the line, we are talking about issues. Some are divorcing, some are separating. Only one beer. Una pasi flani beshte angwa lin pati historia kani ambia manzi tema lim lete a boy. Boy mbaka kahami ya kani sayao. Aka kuwa ni msem serious. Lakini upasi na angali ubo ya nambi utem. Manzi misi koko nvisu dem amioko. Uchali amioko. Kana mbia pasi na dobi. Uki ske uchali ya kiomba. Uchali mbaka kana mbia gasi ombe chakula. Jua kienza kumbia chakula hivi ni bari bashanda rekate bosa. Ana rakati ribo sante rekayoda. Yani ana we ujui wewe. What happened after they got married on the day of their honeymoon? Then I learned that I was a mizinga. I was a shikai via Kabombia. Where was she? I was a mini Kabombia. I was a mini Kabombia. But people kept saying so that the things then that this relationship with Jesus Christ will cost for us. They'll cost us the things we wear. Si kwa sababu vitu ni fashionable lazima pia wewe uvae. Pass the sir. Na wakanyaga poleni. Then the last thing. Surrender all to him. Jesus is calling us to live a radically surrendered life to him. The story of the rich young ruler is an example. The young ruler had everything, but only one thing he wouldn't let go. He wouldn't let go of his riches to pursue Jesus Christ. The story of City Stad, City Stad, who was one of the richest men in the 18th century. And he left all his riches so that he can serve God as a missionary. Jim Elliot says this thing that I hold very dearly. He says, he is not a fool, he will let go of what he can't keep to gain what he can't lose. I repeat, he is not a fool, he will let go of what he can't keep to gain what he can't lose. A total surrender to Jesus Christ. When is the last time you totally surrendered everything to him? The last thing that I'll tell us is that for us to believe that you have given your life to Jesus Christ and you have full commitment to him, you have to make a difference. Verse 34 would give the analogy of the salt and he says if salt loses its saltiness, it is of no value. And if you're a believer who has no impact in their society, who has no impact in their church, who has no impact in their life, you have not encountered with Jesus Christ. Whenever you encounter with Jesus Christ, there has to be a total transformation, a total change. You cannot claim to be a believer, and yet there is no fruit. And fruit is two way. There is the fruit of repentance, so that your life and your character has to change. And number two, you have to make disciples for Jesus Christ. Some of us are not bearing fruit because we are not believers. 
Some of us are not even preaching the gospel. Why? Because you are ashamed of this gospel. The, book would, the Bible would say in the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 16 that I am not ashamed of this gospel for it is the power unto salvation. Some of us are envious of our friends in the world. That is why we cannot tell them anything. Two things. You have to make disciples. And you have, we have to see repentance. We have to see change in your life. Then our conclusion, which was my point number three, is number one. The challenge for us today is that Jesus is the guide and the standard. The terms and conditions are too hard for us to achieve on our own. But he has not left us as orphans. He has left unto us the Holy Spirit, who is the seal of our salvation, and helping us in this journey of salvation. Number two, the call is to obey him. The call is to obey him. We cannot be his disciples unless we obey him. And by obeying him, it means we will follow him deeply, dearly, every day. Number three, we are to love our God with everything. Everything we have. Love him dearly, deeply, with everything that you have. And with that, we come to the end of our sharing. But are you here? And you've not given your life to Jesus Christ and you'd want to commit your life to Jesus I'd like to pray with you. Or are you here? You had given your life to Jesus Christ and after the sharing you've realized, man, I am a false believer. And I'd want to recommit my life to Jesus Christ. I'd like to pray with you. And so as we soul search, I'd like to sing a song. Present worship team, allow me just to do it alone so that also you guys can experience finish thing. I'll sing a song um, and then it's the Mama Stuart, I'll sing a song. We will search, we will pray. If you feel like you want to be prayed for, you can come here. We have our elder, we have Pasi here. And then I'll pray for us and we will conclude. Nainu ami kono etu tuki sema e bwana atu okoa utoka mauti ni tuna sema e bwana tuna kiri uwezo ako. We watosha nainu nainu ami kono et tu ki se ma e bwana atu oka kuto kama utini tu na se ma tu na se ma.
want us to pray for you. You hear you want to give your life to Jesus Christ and you would want me to pray for you. This is the chance. You can make your way to the front. Or are you here and you'd want to recommit your life to Jesus Christ? Man, you've realized that, man, I have been living a lie. And the reasons why I gave to follow Jesus Christ are not genuine. And I'd want to recommit my life to Jesus Christ. This is an opportunity for you to come. This is an opportunity for you. All right. We sing things we sing this for the last time and then I pray. Mm. whatever sin, maybe an addiction, maybe something that you're struggling with and you'd want us to pray for you, this is an opportunity for deliverance. Man, me, I believe in a God who does miracles. He gives us grace and fills us with the Holy Spirit to say no to ungodliness. So if you're here and you're struggling with whatever addictions, man, come. He says his, his burden is light. Come. Come to him. Come, he gives grace. He gives grace to the weak, to the weary. He gives grace. an impression in my heart that there's, 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 there's a young man here who has gotten to the point of giving up. He's, he's, committed, he's wanted to commit suicide. He's tried. It has backfired. And man, 
Your spirit is heavy even right now as I talk to us. Your spirit is really heavy. I want to just encourage you, man, that the Lord is here and he wants to sort your heart. Um, and one of those guys who believe that the Holy Spirit does not reveal things so that he he embarrasses you, he is in the work of delivering to to here and that's you man i pray that the lord will heal you in whatever situation you are in whatever it is that is breaking your heart may the lord encourage and, and 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 restore you i pray against whatever form any spirit of um suicide the mighty name of jesus I want to pray for this young lady, Lord, who is struggling with guilt. I pray that Jesus Christ, you will take away the guilt, that you will allow this young lady to experience happiness and liberty and joy that comes from salvation. I pray for this young man who's in deep bondage of pornography and masturbation. Lord, I pray that you will deliver him. Pray for us, O oh Lord. I pray that Jesus Christ, you will continually revive our hearts so, so much so that, Lord, we will encounter you and know you and love you so dearly and desperately. But may you change us. Change us, O oh Lord. Give myself away. Give myself away so you can use me. Here I am, here I stand. Lord, my life is in your hands. Lord, I'm longing to see your desires revealed in me. Give myself away.